Good morning, to lads. My name is General Bluebell, and welcome back to Crooked Man, or was it Crooked Man? Who the frick knows? Where well, last time I was in this uh, school, no, or was it college? Julius Stone Law School. Set from demolition, no entry. Good. Hey, this school was from the leaflet. Then maybe he is here after all. So yeah. Let's do this, and let's do it with vim and vigor. The men's bathroom. Good. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Hello. Hello, fire extinguisher. Anything around here? Faculty room. Hmm. Can I buy uh, some juice? The vending machine doesn't work. I want to be able to buy some juice. Hello, what is this thing? What is this room? No, it doesn't have... Apparently this room is not good enough to have a tag on it. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There is a key. Infirmary key, that's cool. Getting keys right off the bat seems kind of cool. Because I heard this place gets a bit spacious. It's a bit spacious, so... I could have entered there. Are you freaking serious? Oh, faculty room. Oh, yeah. Well then, <laughs> what is this? The, wa the way to the lecture hall is locked. Why would it be locked? Who knows? Uh, where are these things? Janitor's room. No point in going there, I guess. Infirmary! Unlock the infirmary. Can we find something of importance here? Probably. Mm. The trash can is empty. Books about medical treatment. Found a parlor key in one of the drawers. Lined with medicines and such. Good. Awesome. Eh. Uh, what's wrong with this? Like howling in the background. It's probably the one. Said every character in the movie ever. <laughs> What's this? The boxes. Looks like a storeroom is locked. Everything is locked. I mean, it is set for demolition, so... The basement bookshelves is blocked from the other side. Anything here I can use? The doors are stubborn and won't open. Good. They're very stubborn and won't open. What the hell was that? E. <laughs> was there someone there? I couldn't really see them in the dark. Wait, this was supposed to be dark. All right. And he doesn't bring a flashlight or anything to see in the said dark. Man, David, you came unprepared. Reference room. What's that? The frick's that? It's locked. What is this supposed to be? Computer room. Hmm. Sounds interesting enough. I would break into there. Parlor. What's a parlor? I don't know. I might actually look it up later. Uh, vase? <laughs> Couch? Trash can? Trash can is empty. Anthologies and albums line the shelves. Um, nothing? <laughs> now I'm stuck in the couch. What is this? LOL! What's this? I guess it's wire art or something. Not sure what it's supposed to be, though. Hmm, apparently it was made by Ray Twain. One of the lecturers. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> By Ray Twain. The middle one kind of looks like lol. But I'm pretty sure that's not supposed to be. That's not what what it's supposed to be, so. Mm. 
The clock stopped. Oh my god. You don't say. Fire hydrant. Why would the fire hydrant be in the in the school? It's not like anybody's gonna bring the dog into school. I don't think so at least. Maybe some people want to bring a dog to school. Who knows? Maybe they don't wanna get separated. Vending machines won't work. But why? <laughs> I wanna check. Contains cleaning tools. Well, then grab something to b beat someone over the head with. Just find a weapon or some freaking sword. Look, lots of books, lots of books. Lots of books and lots of books. Well then, mini fridge. There's nothing in the refrigerator. Not even a beer. Not even a soda. Security box requires a passcode. Well then, where do I find a fucking passcode? Wait, there's a notebook somewhere. Just see that? It looks like some sort of diary. Michael Distration... I don't know. Made it into a scientific magazine. I am so happy for him. I knew when he joined my class, he'd be a prodigy. I also realized... He and I have the same birthday. I use my birthday as a security code, so I feel l maybe I should change it. Um, alright, man. <laughs> Typical of the professor say saying that um, the kids they take uh, are gonna become prodigies. It's so typical of, of professors, especially college professors documents are strewn on the desk a key to a to the room is among them John Keith's room I have a bad feeling about this man's room needs a passcode trash can trash can uh, is overflowing is overflowing lots of books I believe lots of books Lots of books. And what do you know? Lots of books. Fire hydrant for the invisible dog. There are event schedules posted. Um, am I missing something? Probably. Probably, probably. Um, trash can. How do I get to the thing? So, this guy... As the same birthday as a student, all right, Michael. So Michael is the name of the dude. Let's f go. I think I saw in one of the trash cans there is a poster for a birthday party or something. I'm guessing that's where. Um, I think that's where uh, the Michael's birthday is. Oh my God! I haven't been here. Okay. Passcode, I think. Yes. Fuck you. Lots of books. Refrigerator, not even a beer. Looks like some kind of diary. Good. I lost lost the note with my security box password. Thus, I can't get into the computer room. And the headmaster got angry at me. This is the worst. I thought I had it when I was uh, writing for a seminar in the reference room. Maybe I left it in the book somehow. I should go look. If I used my ID as a password like Andrew does, that then I wouldn't forget it. But that's risky. But if you just use whatever, then you have my problem. Oh. Well then use some specific kind of number. Jeez. <laughs> Trash can is empty. Oh my god, where is that trash can? <laughs> this is like lottery, man. Literally. Eh, where? <laughs> trash can. Trash can. Just look for the trash cans. And through the trash ca cans and whatever. Oh, come on. Nothing. Locked. Blocked and locked and clocked. Maybe... 
reading his book, some kind of diary. Oh, I didn't read his book. Indeed, Law 2 needs a numeric representation. After all, basic things such as on or off, 0 or 1 can be represented much more complex numbers. Yeah, by a binary code. No, that is a binary code. Whoops. Using the small and smallest elements to produce new things is a way of thinking I hold high esteem. Alright. Uh, where do I get the book? There has to be a book. Oh, wait. There is a book! Why does law school have math books? I'm terrible at math. So am I, man. Ooh. It's made up. A binary number is made up of binary digits. Okay, bits. Oh, yeah. I, I remember seeing something like that. Security box. The code must be wrong. I'm so bad at these type of things. But it must be important. One one one. Let's try one one one. Um, uh, one one one. Was it one two one or was it one one one? Let's try all of them actually. See what yields in. Um, paper scrap. I think I'm gonna. No. Yeah, you're gonna say that again. Okay. One one. Uh. <laughs> Is it one o oh, one one? One o oh, one one. That seems like the security box. One one one. The code must be wrong. No freaking shit, Sherlock. Um. All right. Thank you, guide. Thank you for existing internet. Thank you for existing internet. I don't know what I'll do without you. You make my days brighter and nice. Oh, internet is awesome. I have one five. Now I need to stop fucking around. Five. Awesome. It contained the key to the reference room. Let's see what's in the reference room. Is reference room filled with Wikipedia references? I'm just joking. Don't worry. I'm just joking. Wah! <laughs> he fell down onto the face. Ow, ow. Hey, who was that? Who you be? What are you doing in this school, you shady punk? Hey, hey, that's bad. Don't, don't call me shady punk. Sh shady punk? I'm just looking for someone. You showed me out of the blue. Who are you? Give me a name or I'm calling the police on you. David Hoover, and I'm looking for a guy who I think was here. I'm not a robber or anything. Hmm. <laughs> you sure? As if a robber would say they were one. W what do you want? A permit? Now, you tell me who you are, you are, if you're going to ask me. I'm D. Quite a suggestive name you got there, sir. I graduated from the school, so I came back some memories. So I came to bring back some memories. Why would you go to a school when you brought some memories? Sweet flipping Jesus. D, that's not your name. Not actually the oddest one I heard, but it's a nickname, dummy. You think I'd tell you tell some shady punk my real ma name? Pfft. Ugh, little little brat. 
But I guess you ain't stolen anything yet. I'm just wondering, so don't, don't mind me. Smell ya. What the hell is his problem? I didn't even apologize. He pisses me off. God damn it, smell ya. Why does that sound so familiar? I don't know. The reference room. Unlock the reference room. Holy fuck, that is a lot of books. I'd rather not read. Books on legal history, on criminology, on criminology, international law, international law, international law, whatever. Oh shit. They say that people despise those who think similarly to them or who are in the similar circumstance. But humans are curious in that they can hide any outward experience of goodwill or hatred. Though they are two-faced deep down, they can make that idea seem unthinkable. You may despise someone much like you, but you may not you may in your heart have affection for them. It's improbable is the improbable is not impossible. I never understood philosophy stuff. Wouldn't you just dislike people you don't like? That's actually a good point. It's a very simplified thing. Philosophy of love, civil, civil law. Oh my god. Criminal law and criminal law. Let's see. What else we could do? Or should I just leave, leave this episode off? Nah, let's let's go for a little bit while longer. How do you spell that? Jurisprudence? Nah, I don't know. Announcements of new arrivals and the like. The shelves in the basement are for staff only. Those who require books from the basement must sign a form and be accompanied by staff. Taking any materials out is prohibited. Okay. Announcements. Can I answer this? Who is this guy? George Breath. Okay, signatory of Declaration of Independence. He is sometimes called the father of American law for teaching the first classes in whatever. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, <laughs> you don't want to go anywhere else, David? Item. Let's see. Screwdriver. Unscrew the screw holding the portrait. There is writing behind this. 1647. Is that code for something? Yes, it is. I'm glad I took this screwdriver, though I'm sure I won't be useful anymore. It won't be useful anymore. What is this? A record of books checked in and out. So this is kind of like a library? Good. Where to now? Uh, one fourth something. Uh, American law. Who taught American law? Can I open his? Oh, I already did. <laughs> this is Ray Twain's office. I kind of forgotten. Sorry, Mr. Twain. Cindy Peterson. Does she have a 1647? Requires a passcode. Come on. Andrew Robinson. Locked with a six digit pin. He can go screw himself. 1647. <gasps> One, six. Four seven. I thought I got the solution. 
Times are changing. Our existing laws are no use anymore. We must surpass the father of our law to find the true answer. Surpass him! One, six, four, seven. Yes! It contained a key to the lecture hall. And on that note, never mind. Never mind. Hello, dinosaur. Why, why is it here? Back in the hotel, I, I thought I killed it. Gotta run. Good, run then. I turn uh drum key. Yes. Good bye bitch. Surely that'll keep it in few. But this is so bizarre, I mean back at the hotel and the hotel's hours away, isn't it? Could it really be following me? Why? How? Damn it, this is making me nuts. Or am I already going crazy? Am I just hallucinating this thing? Then again, it did attack Sissy, so it can't be my imagination. It exists. Monster, that is. D. If that monster is here, I have to warn D. Tell him that. He's gonna be... He's gonna get out of here. Good. Just one D. Save. Save. And leave this episode off. Because that just scared the freak out of me, man. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. But like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe. And keep on watching the Victor. I'll see you all in the next video.